everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about hair care. So I'm going to be going through with you guys everything that I use on my hair, my hair care routine I suppose, and how I keep my hair as healthy as I can while it's been bleached and quite a bit of damage has been done to this hair over the years. Only in the last couple of months I've actually been interested in hair, like looking after my hair before that I would just use cheap shampoo and conditioner, I would never treat my hair, I wouldn't do anything really to look after it. But since going lighter I have really tried to use as many treatments and things like that to keep my hair as healthy as I possibly can. So first of all I only wash my hair maximum two times a week, I try to just do one time a week but if anything I'll do two like that which is good for your hair because then it lets your hair have like its natural oils and everything. When I do wash my hair at the moment I have been trying out something different. It's a scalp cleanser. I've started doing like a little bit more research on scalp cleansers and looking into it a little bit more and it makes so much sense to actually cleanse your scalp. If you think about like the amount of build up and stuff that we have in our scalp from products that we use and everything like that, it's pretty bad that I have never used one up until this point. I guess it's like using an oil cleanser to get off your makeup and then going in with your second cleanse instead of just using that one cleanser on your face trying to get all your makeup off, you never really get it all off. So I guess that's what happens on your head as well if you don't do a scalp cleanse. The one I've been trying out is the Aveda Purifying Scalp Cleanser. It's just got this little nozzle at the end here and you sort of just wipe it like through the hair like that and squeeze it out. And then you just rub it into your hair and it has like this cooling sort of effect. Um, and then the acids sort of just eat away at all the buildup and the dirt and everything. And it also helps if you have more of like an itchy sort of scalp, which I used to always have really, really itchy scalp. I would even get like, like scabs like on my scalp and stuff. If you have that sort of struggle as well, a scalp cleanse is really good. I just hop in the shower and I like rinse it off basically straight away. I'll leave it on for like one to two minutes and then I go in with my shampoo. I've tried out a lot of shampoos and conditioners over the last couple of years, but I have gone back to the Redken All Soft shampoo and conditioner. It's just really good for the price and it leaves your hair nice and silky and soft. I like a shampoo and conditioner that makes your hair feel really nice and soft and silky. I was using an Aveda, the nourishment one or something before this and I found that it just made my hair a little bit dry. I don't know if it's like over cleansing my hair but it felt dry and like a bit knotty. I've gone back to this and I've really been liking it. So they've got a few different types. This is the all soft and it's for dry brittle hair and because my hair is a little bit lighter I wanted to go with something as nourishing as I could. Also in the shower I have been doing like a double I guess wash with this purple shampoo. It's the it's the Kristen S so it's this brand here. Sorry, my bottle's a bit manky. It's a really nice purple shampoo that my hairdresser actually recommended to me because I hate when your hair looks overly toned, like when it's got that sort of like purple gray tinge to it. If you're blonde, I hate that look. So she said that this one, no matter how long you leave it in for, it does just make your hair really nice, creamy, bright blonde. And I have found that to be true. I do like a little bit more warmth to my hair, not too, too cool. So yeah, but this has been really, really great. If you're looking for a new purple shampoo, I really recommend this one. I just got it from Priceline here in Australia, but sure you can find it online and at other chemists and stuff like that as well. So after I've washed my hair and I get out of the shower, I always dry my hair in a hair turban. I actually don't have it here with me and it's probably wet, but it's one of those hair towels that sort of like roll up and then you button it at the back. I find that makes a real big difference with drying your hair a lot faster and it's not as heavy on your head as like a towel so it's not doing extra damage that like a big heavy towel would do pulling at your hair. If you're struggling with a lot of breakage, doing the hair turn instead of the towel is like a first really good step. So once I've dried off my hair a little bit, I then go in with the Living Proof Restore Repair Leave-In. So this strengthens and transforms your hair. Really good for damage, split ends, and just overall nourishing your hair. So I just put this basically just in the tips and the midsection of my hair. I don't put it too up close to my root. Because I do get more oily at the root of my hair, but obviously more dry at the end. So that's where I pop it. It come with like a pump and I use about like two to three pumps usually. I've noticed a massive difference since using that though. I've been using that for quite a long time now and I really, really love it. It's a great like leave-in conditioner. Even if you, out of all the steps that I'm doing, 
if you just do that step, I feel like it'll make a massive difference to your hair, just doing that one treatment to give it like a little bit more nourishment and strength and everything like that. I've also introduced the Aveda. This is the Damage Remedy Daily Hair Repair. Basically, it's just another leave-in treatment. I don't know, it's probably a little bit overkill doing the both of them, but because my hair is really, really dry at the ends, the more nourishment, the better. So this is just a little bit, I find it's a little bit stronger than this one at working with like the dead ends and um, sort of like coating the hair a little bit more. But the two of them paired together, I feel like are just double goodness and they make my hair really, really smooth and silky. They're basically the two treatments that I use every time that I wash my hair. I then put in this Aveda product. This has changed my life. I used to always, I don't even know if I used to blow dry my hair. I'd sort of let it air dry and then I'd always like straighten my hair all the time. Now I just put this in. It's like, it's a smoothing treatment. It's a smooth infusion and it progressively loosens curls for a straight style. So I just put this in basically from here to the ends of my hair, like pretty roughly like in my damp hair again after those two steps. I pop this in everywhere and then I go in and blow dry my hair straight. Like today, I was cooking my lunch while doing my hair, so it mostly air dried before I even got to the blow drying section and it still dried really nice and straight. My hair naturally does have like a little bit of a wave and a kink to it. So this is it with this treatment in and then just blow dry it out. But usually I do get it a bit straighter than this when I blow dry it straight after. But this honestly just makes the biggest difference because then you don't need to put as much heat on your hair. I just blow dry it straight, like it stays straight the whole week. I find it really helps with frizz and everything like that as well. And it's also just like my heat protectant sort of layer for when I do go in with the blow dryer. I mean, I've got these three things in between my hair and the heat. So it's a lot better for my hair when I do that. My boyfriend's even gotten into this because he has more curly hair and he likes his hair being more straight and he finds he has a massive difference when using this as well and it just really it just really straightens your hair it's really really great so if you want that natural straight sort of look but you're sick of always using a straightener try this out it's definitely worth a go the last product that I use is like sort of a finishing product and that is the Living Proof Vanishing Oil. So this is really great for frizz and it's also good for just giving that like extra little bit of shine to your hair. And I find I do get quite a lot of like frizziness. So anytime if my hair is dry and I feel like it's a little bit frizzy and it just needs to be calmed down a little bit, I just grab like a couple of little drops of this, put it in between my hands and then pop it on my hair. And it's really not a heavy oil. I know that some really heavy oils usually weigh my hair down quite a lot and they look really dirty in my hair. But this one literally just goes to nothing. I mean, like it does its job, but it's not that oily residue isn't left on your hair at all. It soaks in really nicely. Other tips that I do to try and avoid as much breakage as I can is I only ever basically use scrunchies in my hair. I really try to avoid using normal hair ties. I try to avoid using hairspray. Sometimes for work, I do use a bit of hairspray and a normal hair tie. At the end of the week when my hair is more dirty and I want to get a nice like slick bun or something like that, but I try to only do it like once a week, if anything. But avoiding things like that would really like help your hair as well. I was on the JS Health tablets for quite a while and I sort of just stopped taking them. I don't know whether I should get back into it or not, but before I dyed my hair lighter, I was using them for quite a while and I did notice quite a bit of um, hair growth and like a lot of baby hairs, like extra hairs coming through. But I just stopped taking them. I don't really know why I might. It's such like a hard thing to gauge whether it's like working or not. So I was just like, it's just an extra thing that I'm spending my money on. Like I'm just not gonna do it anymore. And But it might be something that I get back into in the future. But I feel like I have been able to keep my hair as healthy looking as I can by using all those products. Like my hair, when I just naturally let it do its thing and I don't put anything in it, it is so frizzy. It's so kinky and wavy and just like all over the place. So it's just the biggest difference when I treat it and I blow dry it properly with that smoothing treatment in it. It makes a really, really big difference for me. So yeah, that's basically it guys. I just wanted to share with you the products that I've been using because I find hair care is super important and I feel like it's gonna start being a little bit more 
popular people looking after their hair like with the JS Health tablets and I've seen a lot of people actually doing videos about like how they've grown their hair and things like that so obviously everyone is starting to think about it a lot more. More people have been focused on their skincare and their makeup and stuff but hair is just as important and and it's actually really interesting to learn about and it's really crazy the difference that you can tell with your hair when you are using good products. Even the way that your hair like picks up colour when it's dyed. When I used to try and dye my hair light when I would use just the grocery store like shampoo and conditioner, my hair would never pick up a really bright blonde. It would always be like sort of that orangey colour. It would never be a bright blonde. But because I've been using a really good shampoo and conditioner for a while, before I went light at this time, it picked up really well and really fast. So it does make a difference to how your hair dyes and everything like that as well. So it's definitely worth investing in if you want to have really nice, healthy, long hair. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!